in this question we don't have any information regarding angle of repose and these two blocks are placed on inclined plane rough inclined plane so here we cannot say these two block will be at rest or move down so let us proceed with one assumption that these two blocks are sliding down with a common acceleration say small a say this block is block number one and this is block number two now we can draw the free body diagram first consider block number two the component of the weight we can consider perpendicular to the inclined plane parallel to the inclined plane this is a normal reaction and this is the tension force and this is sliding down so friction will be in the upward direction and kinetic in nature now we can consider block number one similarly we can make the component of the weight parallel to the incline and perpendicular to the incline these components and normal reaction and tension force will be the upward direction this is again sliding down that means the friction force will be in the upward direction and kinetic in nature now we can write the values of f1 and f2 this is mu multiplied by n1 and n1 is equal to capital mg cos theta so this is mu multiplied by capital mg cos theta and similarly we can write f2 is equal to mu multiplied by n2 and this n2 is equal to small mg cos theta so this is mu multiplied by small mg cos theta now we can write equation of motion first write the equation of motion for the block number two for block number two equation of motion should be t plus small mg sin theta minus mu multiplied by mg cos theta that should be equal to mass multiplied by acceleration say equation number one similarly we can write equation of motion for the block number one we can write here capital mg sin theta minus t minus mu multiplied by capital mg cos theta equal to capital m multiplied by small a now we can add these two equation if we add these two equation capital t capital t will get cancelled and here we can take g sin theta g sin theta is common so this term will be capital m plus small m multiplied by g sin theta and here we can take mu multiplied by g cos theta is common so this term should be equal to mu multiplied by capital m plus small m multiplied by g cos theta and on the right hand side we can write capital m plus small m multiplied by small a so this will be the equation right now from this equation we can observe capital m plus small m capital m plus small m and capital m plus small m will get cancelled now we will have the value of acceleration this is equal to g multiplied by sin theta minus mu multiplied by cos theta so let us write this equation now we can substitute the value of this acceleration in either equation so let us consider we are substituting this value in equation number one and equation number one we can write this term this is capital t and this is plus we can take mg as common so this is mg sin theta minus mu multiplied by cos theta that is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration this value so let us substitute this value we will have this equation right from this equation we can observe on right hand side and left hand side mg sin theta minus mu cos theta mg sin theta minus mu cos theta will get cancelled that means this t is equal to zero this t is equal to zero that means option three should be the correct option this is the correct option